Here in a minute, we'll go into a little bit of a canter. So you always want to be able to walk, trot, and canter them in both directions. So we'll go into a little bit of a canter here now. Yeah, so I'm going to keep him collected up, keep his mind on me. Yeah. Boy. Good. Whoop. Good boy. Good hand. Uh-uh. Good. We'll bring him back to a walk. Good boy. Now we're going to walk up to the tarp. We're going to go ahead and keep his nose on the center of whatever we want to cross. And let him. Good boy. And walk. So that was really good. We're spin, and we'll go ahead and canter him to the right a little bit and go back over it. So again, you want to go through all these exercises under saddle like we did on the ground. Okay. Right there, good. Good boy. This is pretty much a natural, this is natural for, way for them to act. This is how he's acting right now. You know, I'm going to keep his nose where I want him to go, and I'm going to ask him to please keep going forward. Then we're, so we're going to go ahead and ride in between them. You know, this is something that the, the police horses have to do is be able to ride around flares. They have to be able to, uh, you know, walk up, walk up next to them. You know, you don't want to, in this case, you wouldn't want to step on the flare because that's going to burn the horse. So be careful not to step on them. Good. They are making a hissing sound. Good. So, if, you know, for those who have a, you know, you're part of the sheriff posse, you know, this is always really good training you can do with your horses. You know, you want to build as much confidence up in them as you can and everything, everything new that we expose the horse to is going to help build the horse's confidence. Good boy. Good. So Spin is starting to drop his head a little bit where he was nervous a few seconds ago, but now he's starting to calm down and relax quite a bit uh, using the flares. And, you know, I'm not also, also I'm not saying by teaching your horse's stress management that your horses are never going to spook again. You know, they may get a little nervous, but like spook, but like uh, what Spin is doing right here now, is he's, uh, you know, he'll get a little spooky, then he automatically relaxes. That's showing you a horse that truly knows how to uh, manage his stress. And then he's learning how to manage that stress. All right, so we're gonna do a little bit more of this. Uh, again, you know, we do, when we're cantering around, both uh, the coyote, the scent of the coyote, the scent of the mountain lion, plus the stuff we have over there, which is a, you know, white plastic baggie and a, a noodle. So there's quite a bit going on here, but Spin's doing what he needs to be doing and he's concentrating on me. Good. Uh, uh, he thought I wanted to go in the canter before I asked him to, so I'm just gonna bring him back to jaw. Nope, so shut him down. So we're gonna do a little bit of cantering. Whoop, to the left here. We're going to canter them in between the flares. We'll bring them back to a uh, relax. Drop your head. Good boy. Go around this way a little bit. And then we're going to canter in between the flares here in a second. Okay. There we go, good. And who? Good, and relax them, good boy. 
All right, so you don't want to go through all this type of stuff that we just went through. 